Dear friends, the Lord Jesus Christ is alive and the God of the universe is waiting on you to come to him and to come to the truth. But this world is under the firm grip of the evil one who keeps people blinded from the truth. And in a world of darkness and lies, the true light is shining out there. The true light of Jesus Christ and the cross of Jesus. And if people would only go to that truth and get revealed that truth, then they will have the Holy Spirit, the water of eternal life, come into their souls. And then they will be new creatures. They will change. They will no longer be the same. But because the devil is blinding people from the truth, people do not believe. And they don't want to even look for the truth because they are comfortable in their state of sin and death. And they are comfortable being blinded by the evil one. They, don't, they just don't want to look for the truth. Dear friends, we need to wake up from our slumber. I want to share with you today from the book of 2 Corinthians. This is chapter 4, verse 3. The Apostle Paul says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Jesus' sake. Dear friends, even the servants today, they sometimes preach about themselves. But as servants, we have one job, and that is to point people to Jesus Christ our Lord because he is the only true light that can wake up people from their slumber from the darkness of this world and the people today who are living are not finding the truth because of the blindness that the devil is keeping them under why is that dear friends it's because they don't truly believe if you truly believe in Jesus as you claim you do, then, dear friend, you will be a different person, a new person. A new person that walks in the light of Christ, away from the darkness and blindness of this world and its vanities, because this whole world is blind. He says, if our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost, because they believe not. The truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ is hidden because people do not believe. But this truth is out there. And if that truth is revealed to us, then the Holy Spirit will come live inside of us to confirm to us that this is the truth, that Jesus and his cross are the truth Dear friend, when are you going to seek the truth in order to find it? Today when I speak about Jesus, many people think that I'm trying to convince them of some kind of a theory. And they think sometimes that I'm trying to cause them to join me or some kind of a group or some kind of religion. They do not truly understand that my only objective is to lead them to Jesus. Why? That is because they don't truly believe. That's the only reason. If people truly believed in Jesus, then they would understand that Jesus is alive, that he can speak to them, that he is truly risen. But people do not truly believe. That is why they try to associate you with some groups and they say that you have different kinds of motives. That is because they are blinded, dear friends. They don't see the truth. And they are not even willing to look for that truth. Their conscience has been seared by the vanity of this world. They cannot see even the voice of God in their conscience. They cannot hear it. That is why they never come to Jesus. 
Dear friends, this world and all its activities, this busyness that people have in their lives, that will cause a lot of people to end up in hell. And it will be a terrible shock when they stand before Jesus Christ. When we get to the end, dear friends, and we die, we will immediately recognize that we were blinded all this time. Because that voice that was calling us all through our lives and our conscience will be completely revealed to us on that day with no hindrance whatsoever. And then we will regret that we had the opportunity every day to turn away from the blindness of this world and to come to the truth. But we didn't take heed. Why? Because we unconsciously, but still with accountability, decided to keep living our own way, away from the truth of Christ, away from trying to seek the truth in order to find it. Every day we have that decision we can make. Because God did not create robots. He created people who have the free will to respond to Him, to His call. He calls us first, but we have to, to willingly respond. We have the free will to respond to His grace and come to Him and get forgiven. Dear friends, it will always be about mercy, but it's our job to respond to the call of grace and mercy. He calls us, but we need to respond. Will you today take that decision to turn away from the vanity of this world, turn away from your busy lifestyle, and to at least give God a chance Give the truth a chance so that maybe you find it and then you will truly become a believer. Somebody who has been awakened from their slumber, who has the Holy Spirit of Christ in them, who changed their whole life because they know the truth and they know what it means to have the Holy Spirit. And may God bless you.